so I've never done a video like this before, but for one reason or another, I felt compelled to do so. So here goes. So there is a social media trend happening right now uh, around hashtag me too, which is to show awareness and solidarity and exposure of actually how many women have had a sexual assault or harassment incident in their life. This was started by Alyssa Milano, but was a response to a major Hollywood powerhouse and recent allegations against him. So I have a lot of thoughts around this hashtag and nothing I say is meant to criticize anyone. I just think this conversation is so much deeper than what a hashtag could actually say. So first off to any of my friends or anyone out there that has used the hashtag, if you believe that this is your way to be able to show even a shred of vulnerability, whether it's two words or two paragraphs, and you truly believe that this will help another woman or women, whether it's a social conversation or in-person conversation, then by all means, go for it. I think that that is okay, especially when it comes to real-time conversations with women. I mean, therapy isn't cheap. And you just never know that that conversation might have been the only conversation she could have had with someone. So by all means, definitely go for it. But the fact that this has started trending because of a major Hollywood powerhouse is a bit unfortunate, especially to those groups of women, particularly women of color, who experience it on a regular and daily basis, simply for the fact that they are being. And by that I mean they are being catcalled, they are being harassed because their hips are slightly wider, because their butts are fuller, their breasts are bigger, or whatever else our bodies are currently being capitalized on. And don't tell me it's because of what women wear either, because believe you me, I have been catcalled on a 30 degree Chicago winter day wearing a parka. True story. I think women of color especially have been going through this for their entire lives and have been speaking out about it. And I just don't want us to forget the everyday struggles that certain women go through on a regular basis. So this one hashtag can definitely be a great way to showcase awareness, but also remember to listen to the women who have been talking about this already and constantly and asking for help. Another thing is for every one woman you see utilizing this hashtag, remember that there are countless others who are silent and may remain silent about their experiences. Not all women have processed or have healed from their experiences. So seeing all of these encounters and, and experiences from other women and, and incidents may be making them feel even worse. And they might have been repressing memories that they just don't want to talk about or think about ever again. And that is okay. And for those women who are silent because they do not feel the need to talk about their experience or even tell anyone that they have been a victim of this, then more power to you because how are you expected to help others when you need to help yourself first? And again, like I said, it's unfortunate that it had to be a man of this stature to bring back awareness of what is happening all the time. I mean, my friends that have used the hashtag, we're not talking about an incident that happened yesterday or last week or that one time last year. They are talking about incidents that have happened their entire lives from anything relating to work in the office, to back in college, to high school, and back until they were able to first speak. Yes, that young and that long ago. I also don't think that this campaign or this, this social awareness is targeted to the bad men out there, because let's face it, they know that they are bad men. This is for the good guys out there, the guys who have the courage to call themselves men. We're asking you to truly be our ally. If you see something happening to us, 
please butt in. Or if you can't, get someone who can. Because guess what? That might be the only time that you could actually make an impact and help someone. Because more often than not, you won't be around for when it happens. Who's gonna be there walking us to our car? Who's gonna be there when we're frantically jangling our keys to open our apartment? Who's gonna be there in a crowded room? Or a clear glass conference room? Because that happens. So I'm asking the good guys out there to really step up and actually do something when you see us out there in need. And as for me, yeah, me too. And me too, and me too, and me too. But I don't wanna tell my stories because I just don't want to. And that's okay.